guys. So, um, it's been a while. I need to apologize if my hair is not the, how it's supposed to be. It should be like that. But since my since my hair is a little bit crazy, that's that's rocky. I I just don't care about. I was going to plan like film a video where I show you what's in my phone because I do have a new phone. Like I had like three phones, but it's fine. But somehow, um, I don't have batteries. So <laughs> what I'm gonna do instead is. Simply talk about mental health because I think it's a really important topic. I'm gonna search something called mental health um, questions, I guess. I don't know. Because I. Questionnaire, okay. Mental health questionnaire. I don't know why he's like that. Anyways, I heard about this mental health questionnaire. I don't know. Okay. So, um, as you guys know, if you've been watching my videos, I do struggle with mental health. I was... Well, how do I say it? <laughs> um, I have um, borderline personality disorder. If you don't know it, Google it. I don't want to go into... You know, to confuse you guys, basically, but it's literally, like, how it is influencing me is by, like, my moods are always changing. Like, I just can't be, can't have just one mood in the rest of the day. Um, and I know that, like, yes, um, for people, for a lot of people, basically, they just don't stay the same. Like, they're, like, you know, like, um, society influences them. And these things, but um, it is really internal and deep in me. Whereas I sometimes want to kill myself, I sometimes I'm really angry, sometimes I'm really sad. Like one day, like one day, one okay, it's like one time I'm like really sad, and then that time I'm like laughing, crying, then like I'm crying, and then I'm just angry, and it's like going around 24 hours a day, and sometimes it's just like my moods are like literally all the moods that I says <laughs> um are in can be in less than like three hours so take the test okay this mental health assessment test i'm really mm -hmm. no it's not that isn't it no okay so like 72 mental health questions for counselors and patients wants to go here okay great we, we found obviously I'm not gonna ask for all the questions so do you ever feel that you've been affected by feelings of edginess anxiety or nerves so I do struggle with social anxiety since I was a child I don't actually know why what, like what caused it but I heard that um, trauma or like things basically influence you from your, you know, when, when you were born. And so the thing with me is that my mom said that when I was born, they didn't give me to her um, in like less than two weeks, basically. So like after two weeks only, I was in her arms and I... <laughs> I don't know why the doctors were actually like dicks, I guess, because obviously when someone's like the baby is born, they give it to its mother, but she had to wait two weeks for me, and I didn't even have any complications like with my with my health when I was a baby, you know, like nothing. I don't know why did they do it, but basically she didn't. She wasn't the first one that she, like you know she, who hold, held me, because actually my relative held me, which is crazy, because I don't know like. The relative wasn't my mom and like, you know, <laughs> it's crazy, but it's, I guess it's just life, I guess, I don't know, but I think that abandonment issues started from there, like, I don't know, like, I, I can't, I just, I can't explain it, like, why, but I think some, like, some influential 
things, trauma was formed in me that I now like have social anxiety, eating disorder, the BPD. Um, yeah, it's a lot of things. Um, I never experienced depression, guys. I want to, you know, to say it, just anxiety because I just, just, you know that you are anxious when you feel this heavy, like feeling in your chest and then around your heart, like, you know, it's anxiety and like I struggle with it. Sometimes like wake up with it, which is not really good. And I basically decided that I'm going to put my health first, mental health always. So if uh, my partner wants to go somewhere with me, I don't go if I have anxiety. What is this? <laughs> okay, that looks weird, but it's, it's not. Um, I don't know what stain is it. But yeah, um, so yeah, so I didn't um, feel depressed, I just felt sadness because when I was struggling with, my eat, with an eating disorder like four years ago, and then I, on top of that I had major anxiety issues, then um, yeah, like, <laughs> um, I think that was that and not depression because I, I don't know. I actually can't really like remember that time of my life, like clearly. I don't know, whatever. So yeah. <laughs> oh, and I wanna like say that I sometimes hit my head on the floor. Um, that's crazy, guys. Like crazy heavily. I literally just fall down to the ground and beat my head. It's, like it happened like four times once it was in public sometimes it was I don't know I just I don't know why I do it but I think it's like mental health related obviously like <laughs> obviously have you experienced a week or longer of lower than usual interest in activities that you usually enjoy examples might include work exercise or hobbies well I think it's I think it's laziness basically <laughs> um yeah, I think it's laziness. <laughs> like, um, I did. Obviously, I did experience it. Not that much. But I think that was from laziness. Because I'm just a really lazy person. Yeah. Have you ever experienced an attack of fear, anxiety, or panic? Well, fear and anxiety, yes. Panic, well... Um, no, not really. I don't think so. Um, I do suffer with paranoia a lot and I know it's like not related, but No, I don't think so. Like pain, no, but like anxiety and fear, like I said, yes. Do you think some anxiety and discomfort around bother you? And others. Yes, it does bother me because I, everything that I like want to do then is go home, lay down, and just be down, <laughs> like, yeah, I do, I'm, I'm do, I'm, I'm, I'm like, I'm comfortable when I want to, you know, just don't, like, not socialize, basically, but yeah, so, um, tell me about your sleeping habits over the X months, have you noticed any changes, difficulty sleeping, restlessness, how about the quality of your sleep, so I'm the type of person who is struggling to fall asleep, and some people just, you know, turn off their minds off, but I have to think about something before I sleep because it does exhaust me, I guess. I don't know, but I I do sleep better when I think of something or like, um, or like create a story in my head. So yeah, I, like right now, um, it's better sleeping habits, but um, in the past X months, it was just horrible. I always, I was always like waking up during the night. Yeah, like I just sleep eight hours like or more because <laughs> I just sleep a lot. Like I'm just like a sleepy baby. How would you describe your appetite over the past X weeks? Have you have your eating habits altered in any way? Yeah, they, they definitely did. I'm not hungry at all. I don't feel hunger at all. And even now that it's 3.45 p.m. and I ate last time, like, at 11 p.m. 
is it 10 p.m. Wait, not p.m. A.m. Freak. <laughs> Freak. 10 or 11 a.m. I ate a fish. <laughs> so, yeah, don't ask. <laughs> um, like, I'm not hungry. Like I, And when I even, like, wake up, I'm not hungry at all. Like, I just eat because I need the nutrition. <laughs> And as soon as I finish with this video, I will make something for myself. But I won't be hungry. But I need to eat, so I do love food. But mm, I don't know. Like when I eat, and like when I eat, like in a last month, then after it, I feel like I feel like nauseous, like really nauseous. It's horrible. Well, I think that sums up everything. It wasn't a lot of things, but. The thing that I found the most helpful during those situations that I said, like anxiety and that, is I do, and it's proven literally like, it's proven psychologically that it helps, was I focus, or like I focus on my senses, like my breathing, my sight, hearing, smell, touch, basically I see like three you know, things, I smell some things, I don't know, like, I just go to my senses or, like, focus on my breathing, and it really helps, and I do meditate a lot, too, and not a lot, but it's literally, like, every day, like, three minutes, I do exercise, too, um, I think, I don't know if it helps, like, maybe it does, I don't know, and what I, what I did when I was sad, I, and it's, it's kind of, it's, like, sometimes, for some people, it's, like, really dumb, but what I did is I found some really helpful quotes um, on the internet. You can find quotes like anywhere, like on Instagram, they have these mental health quotes or like pages and these, and I do follow some of them. Um, and they really helped me, I don't know, like, and even music when something really has a good, like, lyric that it helps then i do like to listen of for it like at least listen to it and yeah what helps me too is the like songs where they are screaming or when they're like not like screaming screaming but like i don't know it's really loud songs i don't know just get into my head and i just feel better because it's aggressive like my thoughts and I really some it's it like somehow it helps even when I'm sad I do listen to sad songs and I feel comfort in it because I do know that I'm not alone sometimes someone just experienced the same thing that I do experience so yeah that really helped too like music and quotes or sometimes I like I was I don't know like I used to journal a lot kind of stopped with it, I should start because I do not sleep with my partner, and it's better to me to put my feelings on a paper when I'm alone and I just don't have my journal with me. So, yeah, and when I'm alone, like for example, now I'm too lazy, <laughs> like I have other things to do. Yeah, anyways, that just what helps me, anyways. Um, what's that on Instagram? I am. Um, I'm at Naomi underscore Jacob. I'll, it's in the description box below. I do upload stories. Um, it's like mental health SOS kind of stories. So basically, I do post some quotes and I do post a new, uh, like a certain song that has lyrics and I put like the lyrics too there if it makes sense. And for some people, it might be helpful if you were like me. For some people, physical activities help, or cooking, or whatever, like, you, what you like, basically. Singing is really good, too, for me. Anyways, I really, I just wanted to touch in this video on mental health, because I think it's really, really important, and it's more important than physical health, I think. So, and, um, especially in this pandemic time, which I freaking, freaking, freaking don't like, but it is what it is. Um, basically, you have to touch on this stuff because people are sad, people are alone, people are with their thoughts a lot, and it's not 
nice sometimes, but yeah. Anyways, that just that I think is really important, and um, I did I did want to make a video like this because everything what I want is to you know just you know just help people and focus on mental health because it's really important. Anyways, I'm gonna go now. Thank you for watching this video. I if you did, <laughs> I don't know. For some people, it might not be interesting, but some people. Kind of, yes, anyway, I'm gonna go now and I will see you in my next video. Bye.